Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Disc Creatures, a fun monster training game inspired by the Game Boy Color. We have been in the last few, have the last several episodes going through the Mond Tunnel trying to track down the Clud Brothers who have been causing problems and getting it blamed on me. We have a few run-ins with the Clud Brothers, but they have continuously been able to escape us. They've been inexplicably able to get away from us each time we catch up to them. So we are trying our darndest to be able to get to them and be able to stop them from causing problems and the problems they're causing is you know what let's not do that that way they are because the clud brothers are two disc creatures that have the ability to change their shape they are changing their shape into my appearance and have been able to do things hurt our reputation they've just been causing a lot of problems overall and we are getting a blame for it so we are trying to track them down in order to get them to stop and we have been making uh, some progress on that it seems like every time we catch up with them they throw something some kind of wrinkle into the mix and be able to escape us and that's unfortunate hopefully here uh, shortly we'll be able to catch up with them and put it into their nonsense now our great tamati and i think uh, everybody else has leveled up recently so let's jump into the move changer and check that out here is sap awesome so now oh gosh what do i want to do let's take I'm gonna take trick out. I think sap was a much better use of that. And with the with the magical veil, I could heal somebody else up. Sap, I could heal myself. You know what I should do? I should really take out like green energy. That's not gonna help us. So we have root sword, sap, and let's go ahead and throw in trick as well which is going to help us out in the magical veil i like that combo that's going to be really nice for us it looks like the bracketron has not got any more levels but one of the things i like about the bracketron so far he has stone type metal type fire type earth type and water type so yeah he's and wind type really here with the uh, brush away now the brush away is not going to be very strong right now because it's such of a low level but i'm really impressed with the array of types that he has he's mainly a metal type but it's nice to have those other options just in case you're facing something it looks like my onion has everything my onion still has it has water type it has spirit type it has earth type and it has grass type so it has a little bit too as well but i really like the bracketron quite a bit we are all ready for some more moves and we are going incoming transceiver call uh -oh, what is this hey a stingray so you'll start running into lots more flame type creatures there's a little place called the genesis of genesis hub up ahead where you can rest switch up your team and heal just make sure you're prepared before you head further in oh that's not good because flame is good to oh is that my shortcut back caution fast moving sand you yeah okay carry straight back to the instruments i really don't want that to happen but flame types are really bad because flame is strong to grass which is two of my three characters so i need to really worry about that and think about what we're going to do i don't know what we're going to do to be honest because that's that's going to be ugly i don't have 
other my volt gamma could come back i don't have anything other that i have trained up that's going to be able to take these guys and do something with them i need a what well I, I don't know if water type is good strong against flame i could grab i would think it would be which means my bracketron has something what is it wind i believe maybe wind and water is strong against flame types that that that's guess let's see root sword is what i want to do let's just do root sword let's get yeah, just metal scatter and then another root sword on that one the root swords probably will take them out but i'm not sure about that we'll have to kind of just see that's what i would expect to happen there we go my bracketron didn't even have to do anything sweet so i'm a little oh gosh there's a trainer there i'm a little worried about that i gotta say i might do my volt gamma there's a space up ahead called the Genesis Hub. It's sort of hangout for all us explorers. Oh gosh, please. Okay, two magic types and a rock earth type. They're fairly low level, so I shouldn't be too worried, I don't think. Let's do metal scatter and poison wave here and see what happens. I don't think poison wave is going to be particularly strong against any of them. Oh, weak to spirit. That's nice but i was hoping there would be a nice easy quick way to be able to get some damage on everyone and it really didn't do it the way i was hoping it would to be honest but here we go that metal scatter did nicely i think we're going to focus on the rock type with my root swords here and do another metal scatter probably would be the best bet because the metal scatter should take out the other two and those root swords just down in a flash like that look at that oh he recovered hp that's not cool you jerk <laughs> you're not allowed to do that oh wow he almost fully recovered his health there so uh, i don't know i think just root sword yeah basically the same thing we'll just go through the root swords probably won't have a huge effect but just being able to hit them with something i think will kill them out yeah and then the metal scatter should be able to take that guy out and we did it i should get a lot of yeah a lot of experience for the that battle nice onions leveled up i'm really not sure about this let's see you got skills kid right up ahead you'll notice a big change in the sorts of wild creature that inhabit the area make sure you drop by the genesis hub to rest up before you continue and i got a choco mellow which is kind of cool that might help us out in trying to prepare for this and see what we want to do we got some oh is it just oh there were there's our what does this guy do beep boop beep would you like me to heal your creatures yes go ahead and heal them hmm i'm not sure though your creature okay healed and refreshed what is this is this just a same creature healing machine okay that's disc cafe and that's the disc r let's see what we have I really don't want to have either I could throw in my Volta Gamma the the only things that I have any levels on is that which is really the he's a wind type which I think would be let's try something here let's throw this guy in I want to put him in because I want to see something I want to see what's weak against a fire type let's go ahead and throw him in for the onion i don't think that's gonna matter equipment remove oh wait yep already in your team yeah i knew that let's get out of here for a quick second and see what that does status tracklin oh how do i see that it's equipment is that how i do it okay so he's weak against water rock 
or stone. I think that's stone and wind. Now... Okay, my Brachatron... Is my Brachatron weak to fire? No, he's not. He's not weak to fire, so I'm gonna keep my Brachatron in. But I really shouldn't have grass because he's gonna be strong against grass. I believe. Fires are strong against grass and I really don't wanna have them in there. But I might have to switch up my See the, I don't know. Uh, I don't really want, what is that? Is that, oh, that's the mug at Megaton. Okay, let's, I'm trying to think here what's going to be very helpful for us and what's going to be, I don't think I have levels on very many things and that's going to be really where what is oh okay he's a rock type uh, rock spirit type i mean he's i could do the true sack let's throw the volta gamma in there and see add this creature to your team yes switch him out for the draklin i think that might be a good move. I'm not 100% sure about that move. Just because... I don't know. Does he have... He does have a water type, so the... So I want to do... Metal Scatter. Put him Brush away, because that's going to help. It's all enemies. And is a wind type. That's water. That's going to hurt. Let's see what my Volt Gamma has. He has fire, well he has an earth, sandstorm. The only other one that I've ever played with, I believe would be either the, the bat, which one, which was on page one. I'm trying to figure this out, this guy. Or, what is that? That's a magic type, isn't he? The only other one I've done anything with is, I almost want a water type. There's the, what does he say for his data? Oh, eh, I don't want low stats. What water types do we have though? I'm not sure, well, water or rock. Oh, that's five. This is the other guy. He was water. Oh, he is water and rock. He's a strong against power attacks, but it sometimes gloops an opponent when hit. Maybe that's the one I want to do. That might very well be the one I want to do. Commandroid. He's a metal type. Not sure that's going to really help us there. He's a water spirit type, which means he's going to get like probably that poison wave. Sometimes reduces water move to damage to zero. Hmm. Not sure what is the best choice here. I mean, I definitely have some water types in here that I could use. I'm thinking, I kind of like that turtle high power that gets a further buff. I mean, that's a good thing, especially against fire, I think. But he's level one. That's the that's the bad thing, I think. And I'm thinking that ones that are two things have a less resistance. So let's put him in there. Switch him out for the grid. This may be a really bad decision, but I'm gonna have to do that. I just don't think the great Tamati is going to be able to live very much past that. What I do want to do here is check out the equipment. So if I go here and look at the equipment, he has no, he has five things. Wow, and he resists flame, which is good. 
and he only resists two things that is a really nice really nice setup and then the volta gamma has three resistance so we want to throw in the disc recorder definitely dragon skull grants resistance to staff debuffs that's kind of nice and then i wanted to see what the porcupine sticky was inflicts gloop when targeted by a power move but i don't know what gloop does confusion and frenzy slows down movement prevents knockdown let's try shock charm this is not going to go well i don't think i really i know i'm taking a long time on this but i'm really trying to figure this out this can be learned in exchange for a gear get desk yes i will i probably have several of those hopefully it's a water move ah uh, no okay, not what i want to panic yeah i should have should have done that ice blade let's take down ripple it's all enemies splash let's take off teardrop and throw on ice blade and see what that does hopefully that's going to power up my people enough i don't know if i should really talk to stone and earth creatures right well up ahead that all changes you're gonna run into a lot of flame types yeah water type creatures I am a connoisseur of the badges that get uncovered here in Mon Tunnel. If happen, if you happen upon any ancient badges down here, I would gl gladly appraise them for you. Interesting. I'm not gonna talk, talk talk to everybody. I'm pretty sure that I've wasted enough time there with those battles there. Oh, I really would like to get past this guy because he's now okay. Let's see how this works. Let's use a ripple to see if it who's going to get affected by the water. Oh gosh, this has been a bad idea. Brush away. Let's try brush away and sandstorm. I don't know how at all if this is going to work at all and I'm going to assume ouch. Well, that didn't work out for us at all. Somebody get knocked down, please. Strong versus wind. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Can I? No, I think I escape. I don't know. I'm in real big trouble here. Ice blade. Laser cannon. Let's get that guy out of the way. He has a paralysis. I'm going to... Heal him up, I think would probably be the best idea here. This may be a really ugly fight. Here. Hopefully we can survive long enough so that we can get out of here. That was weak to ice, that's good to know, but I just really iffy if several of my people get hit. It's going to go down here really ugly, really quickly. Let's try rock hammer. And then I don't think sandstorm really helped. Let's try fire. I don't know what that, oh, that's not good. Hardly be able to see, I think lowers my speed. There we go. Ah, whoa, that was a close one. And I'm hoping that the he should jump up several levels to por Porcupod. Okay, two levels. This is just getting ugly, I think. Let's... He leveled up, which is good. And now I have nobody that's able to heal, which is bad. Let's see what his Porcupod's new moves are. Okay, nothing that's going to be really protect i'm actually a little curious if oh okay, nothing really extremely helpful i'm hoping that the fire one's up ahead can i get by this guy uh, nope i cannot get by this guy this is going to be ugly if i can't do something here ice blade against that guy let's just laser cannon these guys out of here 
the best we can let's try thunder whip metal might be weak to thunder electric that's just a guess okay that actually worked out really good and then lead ray should take care of that guy should i didn't see it come out but it really should there we go yes that worked out nicely ice did not do anything that's fine water might i could try ripple laser cannon and that electric actually worked out really nice for us against those metal ones well this is going to be an ugly ugly fight here for a while game porcupine level porcupine porcupod that's a good thing is he's leveling up like that means i don't have to worry about his health please be fire ah oh, rock type oh gosh let's try suction prevents knockdowns let's try a splash on him i don't know if that's going to laser cannon and i don't think thunder whip will really do anything against him yeah that's kind of what i was expecting he got covered in loop again i don't not sure what that does well that splash did no damage at all to him let's try salt water and eferno Everno's strong against flame. That's not good. Is the water going to be helpful? Nope. Strong versus ice. Wow, this is going to be a long battle if I can't get a better. Yeah. Nothing is going to be helpful here. Let's try. Oh, I can't. I got an E charge here. I could try that i don't think the sandstorm's really going to help me i was i was expecting the switch over to fire to be immediate and it's not and this is a definitely a bad bad turn of events here maybe the best thing to do is to go back up and put in my put in my to great tomati just so i have something that's going to be able to deal with these guys but somebody is going to go down it seems like here because i am barely taking anything off these guys really really just barely denting him every time i'm hoping my laser cannon is going to take him out eventually he's got an e-charge may not have been a good idea to switch everything out unilaterally like that so he's gonna have to let have him heal my bracketron up laser cannon oh he doesn't have enough for laser cannon that's not good Let's try rock hammer. I, it, well, rock hammer is not. I don't know. Hey, I think. Oh my no! Don't kill him now! Ha <laughs> God! Just when he was just. Oh, he gained experience. Uh, he didn't get any experience for that battle, unfortunately just at the very end of it he got knocked out which is annoying but let's do a reboot boot capsule and man i am all messed up here here and in quite a bit of trouble to be perfectly honest hopefully we'll be able to get through these a few rock types and be able to get into some fire types the the color changed a little bit and that's an ambush oh a wick spill appeared here we go ripple brush away hopefully those two is going to and then sandstorm maybe i'm hoping that those are going to all be detrimental it took a get, 
big hit on the sandstorm, which is good. The brush away. Yeah, even that's a really old one. Low damage. It was just because they're weak to it that it was able to be strong and knock them out like that. It did not. Oh, yeah, it did level up. Okay. <sighs> These guys are going to get ambushed me at some point. 30, 30. Okay, so again, I should. I'm well, I might be able to take them all out here again like I did the last time. Because the sandstorm went did pretty good. Then as long as, oh gosh, they don't knock him out. That's the one thing that I'm worried about. If they knock the porcupine out, it's going to be harmful. Yeah. Now I kind of don't want to because he's just not going to be able to get the experience he needs. And he got knocked out. Okay. So what we're going to do, I think, is be a little bit more cautious here. about something i'm not sure exactly what a 50 is going to be too much hopefully we can i just need to be able to keep him alive that's all there is to it if there's three it's so hard to keep him alive so that he gets any experience he haven't even been able to use his brush away let's try that that may be a very bad idea but I use the salt water on one. Hopefully it's going to last to another turn so that I can refill him back up if he needs to be in the battle because he's got to get that experience or we're never going to get anywhere with this. I don't know if an item... And I'm going to run out of these really quickly to a reboot capsule. And Sandstorm, that's going to, pro okay, there we go. That popped him up. Sandstorm going to come in, hopefully kill those both off so that he can get some experience. There we go. He just needs a little bit more experience. That's all there is. Well, not all there is to it, but He's now 15. If we could just survive a little bit, learn a new move. I need a very good, like, multi attack move for him. He's so slow that he's he doesn't have a ch chance to spit out his ripple. Let's go for one more battle down here and see if we can do a. Oh, the lights went out. That's not good. I'm a little worried. Oh, there we go. Is that it? Genesis uh, Magma Fields. I'm really worried. <laughs> very, very worried. Let's see what we got here. Metal type. See, I've went... I went too full on one way, I believe. I really think that's what I did. I, I was expecting all fire types all the times, and I think... These are metal types now, which would be good to have the grass. You just need him to stay alive a little bit longer. And I think we'll be okay. The brush away could dodge out of the way. At least we got him out of the way. There's the ripple. Took one damage. As long I don't really care that my porcupine doesn't do damage. I What I'm trying to do here is just survive him long enough so that he you know what i think salt water does good against those and then thunder whip i'm just trying to keep him alive long enough so that he gets more experience so that he can help us with these fire types down here all that i'm trying to do and it might be a losing battle here he's up to level he should be getting one almost every fight here but it, we'll have to see how that goes on in the next, well, let's check out what that move is. Maybe it's something a little bit nice. Ah, keeps on getting magical veil. That could be very useful. Let's take out suction and use magical veil because magical veil could help us out quite a bit. 
for a variety of reasons here. That's going to be our episode today. We're going to have to go through a little bit more of the magma fields in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. You'll never know how much just for you guys to come in here for a little bit, spend your free time and watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.